Hello and welcome to Dan's Teachers Academy. I am your host, Jose on the mic, and with me, my lovely co-host, the amazing dancer, uh, Amay. How are you doing? I am great, Jose. And did you just say Dance Teachers Academy? I did say Dance Teachers Academy. Instead of canvassing DFW? Yes, yes, yes. What is that about? Well, okay, well, uh, (laughs) we were uh, breaking the news here. Newsflash, newsflash. Look in the Um, camera. Oh, well, yeah, they can see me. (laughs) Uh, We uh, were formerly uh, canvassing DFW, and not that uh, we didn't enjoy that project. Uh, That all came about because we couldn't find... Um, people to help us uh, push along a lot of lot of good talent that we found locally, and uh, so we took it upon ourselves to go out there and try to get them promoted, um, promoted, yes. and shown to everybody around. Yeah, um, and we did that, and we did that, and we were actually very successful with it. Very successful in a shorter amount of time, actually. Yes, yeah. actually, there is there is a backlog of folks out here that I'm going to have to keep getting back to, and. Uh, we when will we, get to them. Yes, we yes. are gonna we're, gonna. we're gonna get to them because we you know we promise to have them on. Uh, we enjoy their company. They're great chat up. Yes. Uh, we'll push Beautiful those artists, out. Beautiful artists, wonderful musicians. Absolutely, we have um, not forgot about you. Yes, uh, we we love that. The, the problem that we fell into is that it's like a very good restaurant. It has fourteen pages of items on there. You just can't be really really good at one or two things. Uh, uh, one particular restaurant comes to mind. You know, you can find the the lemon grilled chicken uh, with basil on page three and on page seven. It's the same. Uh, Is it the same menu that has like seventeen to twenty three pages? Yes, I think uh, I know they are, what they're not. Yeah, should they're we not, say it? Uh, no, what they're restaurant? not throwing us any money, and so why should I plug <laughs> them? But yeah, they okay. Well, the other one had basil. This one has capers. I'm like, oh come on, it's still lemon chicken. Stop. Yeah. Well, Let you know, go. interesting because uh, we. Uh, a lot of excitement about our podcast. Yeah, I'm, we're I'm actually excited. very excited about yeah, this uh, new direction that we're going. Mm-hmm. Me too. I was. I'm excited. I'm nervous. I'm scared, but it's all exciting. But it all started with when we started the podcast. And you know, I was started the podcast because we wanted to promote artists, musicians, and dancers yes, in the we did. DFW area. We started to do that. The podcast started picking up getting a lot of attention we started spending a lot of time with the podcast a great deal of yes time. <laughs> and love to do that really love to do that and then it's like wait a minute this thing's getting big um now we have our guest aj amex on the show who's yes. a growth strategist former christian rock uh, musician still has uh, an album that's supposed to be coming out. You I know, know. How, you know how these um, you know young musicians yeah, are. Yeah, and uh, they're waiting for that round to it so they can put the album out. Right. <laughs> so he had great information. That was an excellent podcast, super for creative people. And he has some other. He's a guest on other podcasts, so you know I'll put uh, things on Facebook about that. But anyway, so it's like you know what? Hey, AJ's on our podcast. He's saying some great things. We should meet with him and help uh, have him help us with our podcast to streamline, make it better. Because we obviously were spending and are spending a lot of time with it. Yes, we were. Uh, and 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 we love to do that. But wow, now it's becoming like a professional endeavor. Let's do this professionally. We we did hire him. Well worth the money and time. Wow, that guy has got so many great ideas. Yes, Shout out he to does. AJ, AJ, AJ Amix, A-M-Y-X, look him up. Anthony uh, I believe John it is. Amix, A-M-Y-X. Yeah, dot com, if, yeah. I, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this guy, I'll tell you what, uh, that's that's very good counsel. It only cost me a cup of coffee the first time I sat, or we sat down with him for about an hour, and then okay. he started asking questions, and they were... The next time, cost a little more. Oh well, yeah, the next time. Yeah. <laughs> but it was, but it very, you know, you hire a professional dancer to help you choreograph. You hire a professional Absolutely. to help us. Uh, you get what you pay for. Yes, and so he had a very interesting direction that he recommended. I'm gonna shoot it over to you. Um, well, like again, it's just kind of one of those things where where we decided, okay, we're trying to do too many things, or we're trying to go in too many uh, uh, directions. Why don't we leverage on on the talent that we have, you know, and kind of not necessarily focus, but narrow it down a little bit. And so, um, with all the uh, 
the 10 to 12 years that Amay has been uh, dancing. It's and, over and, 20. <laughs> well, you don't want to. Full wanna, time. You, don't want, you didn't want to call your age out. That's why I was kind of lowballing you there, honey. Yeah. That's, I was throwing you a meatball there. Thank you. Um, but uh, yeah, all the years, the decades that she's actually been uh, training. It's my full time profession. It is your full time yeah. profession. Yeah, you've been teaching people uh, on the side and whatnot. And so we decided, you know what? Um, why don't we just focus on that? Uh, bringing on. All yeah. the young talent out there, all the uh, the, the, the kids, yeah, all the dancers yeah. that are that are out there, and I'm like, you know what? Uh, focus we, on them. Yeah, ha- focus help on them. them with their careers. Help them move yeah. forward. So, because listen, once you stop uh, competing, what do you got left? Yeah, and talking about the things that helped me in my career and the things that didn't help, and bringing people on, um, and sure, talk, the same thing. Getting their perspective is very interesting, wonderful stories, and uh, so this was recommended and right away jose you took to the idea about yeah we should be focusing on uh the dancers and ama and you helping to uh, just, train yes, just the made, dancers yeah, and just the teachers. made sense to me and i was like what 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 just happened uh you know i mean it took me a while the guys were like yeah this is what duration we should go and i'm like what what just happened uh-huh Canvassing DFW. We just had our uh, beautiful poster made. Yes, you well, know we have it hanging in the uh, yeah, in a man cave. Yeah. I still have. I'm not yeah. gonna get rid of that thing. It's gorgeous. No, no, we got to pull it out for um, Christmas party. No, well, we'll see about that. Yeah, um, but yes, uh, we decided that that was um, in terms of you know using our energy and and our resource moving forward. Yes, that that was something that we could see that would. Um, we could we could uh, help out people, you know, and, and it would bear really it would build, yeah. you know, uh, bear fruit easily. Right, because um, so officially, so, salute to that amazing, amaze dance teachers academy. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't share it with you folks, but yeah. So amazing, amaze that first sip worth for you. Right. So we're celebrating because it's a it's a. a, a same love behind it, helping sure. people. Same energy. Same energy, focused direction. And uh, what a lot of people don't realize is that if you have a career in dance, you're having a career that involves a lot of teaching. This is a good, a, a big part of uh, a dance career. So you might be competing professionally. If you are, people want to know how you arrived at that look what did it take to get there so you are hired to do workshops to coach to teach other students there's competitions that have what's called pro-am which is professionals dancing with amateurs so the point is that if you want a dance career you don't just dance there's a time where you're uh, you're teaching and that dancing with the stars is a perfect example those are excellent excellent dancers just watch them in person on the show they're beautiful i've had the happy yeah they are e- easy on the eyes out there when the oh, lights yeah, are on yeah 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 <laughs> i had the happy experience of actually being at the show front row oh right on yeah beautiful and um wow look at her name dropping <laughs> well it was an honor and it's like a dream come nice. true for a dance instructor to be able to just be in the audience and then to be in the front row a guest of uh one of the uh celebrities jake pavelka shout out thanks oh, for the invite go. yeah he was a thanks bachelor a lot, jake. yeah jake that was really nice to remember your teacher thank you <laughs> so uh anyway so this go. is where this um podcast is going now and i gotta tell you it's stirred up some really big emotions for me because um i am very excited about dancing of course and i've had a great career this puts that at a place where I'm out of my comfort zone and reaching for more uh, for myself. And, you know, that that is a, it's a challenge. And so, you, you know, to um, get out of your comfort zone, you get pretty good at what you're doing. And yeah, but you don't want to get complacent. Absolutely not. And so this has pushed me to kind of uh, out in the front a little bit more because before it's like... Hey, yeah, I'm just here with my Jose and we're <laughs> interviewing people, and now it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, they got to get up in front. I get to work. Uh, I get to work from behind for a while. 
Well, you are. You, I want you up in front there with me because you are a superstar. Everybody knows it. Yeah, I can't dance that. Yeah, and so am I. <laughs> Diva mode, diva yeah. mode. Yeah, <laughs> I, I have uh, my my diva, my inner diva has awoken, but yeah. she's cool. She's cool. Yeah, she's all right. You're gonna like her. Oh yeah, she's all right. I, I, I spent a little time with her. She's all right. <laughs> yeah, like that. I see. I see. There's some moments, no, but most of the time, it's good. You know, you. Okay, so we are now uh, have let them know that we're going to be focusing more on the dance uh, side of this. Yes, and uh, when when what, time permits, we uh, we still have some some backlog of. Uh, artists and uh, musicians that uh, that we'd like to get on on tape for lack of a better word mm-hmm. i'm not dating myself that's just the term um but uh it's an industry term. it's an industry <laughs> term yeah, yeah. uh so we're we're gonna sit there and get them when we can but uh what is it that we're doing moving forward so i know we i've been working on uh on a website and all kind of things over here for you what exactly is going there's i see a lot of hammer swinging and nails getting pounded uh you (laughs) know that's just my brain that's my brain making those yeah the guys are dropping off building material out here and and the neighbors are complaining what is going on back there what is going on there okay so yes you're building a website and we are focusing on training teachers and uh, so this is not just a catchy title no no it's not just a catchy Ah. title yes yeah we're building something here we're building it together and i'm glad to have you by the way helping thank you with that yeah and and we do really well together and you have experience as a performer and as a photographer and having that experience is i think really helpful i also like the fact that you don't have that much dance experience (laughs) because i think it's really important Hmm. Yet, yet, yeah, that's gonna I'm not, change. I'm not, not, I'm not sure that was a backhanded comment. It <laughs> was not backhanded at all. It was just a kind of interesting. I remember when we first met. Oh, by the way, when uh, I said, "Where are you from?" I had just come back from a competition in Puerto Rico, and I was like, "Where are you from?" Because I just came uh, back from Puerto Rico. The bandstand on the left side. Yeah, yeah, and with so, the horn section. So one of the things that we talked about on our first coffee meeting. Uh, was that uh, you did not know how to dance. Be, you were on the bandstand. Played, yeah. You were a musician. Uh, so so that what my point is, I like the fact that you haven't danced a lot because the questions that you come up with are super uh, for <laughs> dancers and dance teachers, things that we don't think of. Uh, that other people might want to know or okay. maybe it's a new teacher right and I want to encourage all the new teachers out there that's one of the things I really want to do with this podcast because I was a new teacher at one time and I had so many people uh, encouraging me along the way I had some people that didn't and I'm going to tell you how step to step on your feet that sort of thing I literally had a person train me and step on my feet and from that experience I vowed to never teach that way so it's one of the first people that trained me and wow, that's, he right. told, that's sadistic it was very sadistic and he told me <laughs> f- just follow and get my feet out of the way or he was gonna step on them and he did and hard wow. and that's one how I le- yep and mm-hmm. that's how I learned how to get my feet out of the way and at that moment it was like a kind of an inner subconscious thing I because when I found out there is an absolute technique to moving your feet out of the way that doesn't require someone st- stepping on them. Mm, oh, see. by the way, yeah. Okay. And once I found out that technique, I was like, I will never do that to somebody because, oh, by the way, it's not as effective. And uh, th- there's a, there's techniques, and I, I want to share them with you. I want to share how I overcame certain situations. I want to have my friends wow, nice. and colleagues come on. Uh, because it's a beautiful career, and it's it's not easy. It's not easy a lot of times because of our own creative brains. Sometimes okay. when you have a creative brain, there's all kinds of things that go on in our own brains, and um, it is hard to get out of our own way sometimes. Mm-hmm. And I, if we're creative, we can be really creative with our own thoughts too. Yeah, well, there Could is be that. Scary. Yeah. 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 Well, there is that. <laughs> like I start with this thought over here, and it turns into this over here, only to find out that it's really just about right over here so anyway i'm excited now before i was scared i was like oh my gosh what's happening because everything was moving so fast the podcast was 
picking up so fast and it was going places. Oh, by the way, that's the reason we wanted to get uh, information and um, a direction from AJ Amex because it was like, wow, this guy has some really great insight. Let's get. Uh, well, we wanted to try to grow our in, yeah. We're trying to grow our podcast, and all of a in sudden, in a very you know, professional way. Yeah, yeah. We, we walked in there, walking, looking this way. And the next thing I know, I'm, hey, the yep. bus went that way. Yes, <laughs> with yes. all my luggage, <laughs> I need to follow that. So we call this the Pivot Podcast. This is the Pivot Podcast because yeah, we are the same people with the same heart, which is we want to help people. Yes, but realizing that we can really help so much in the area that I know, absolutely, dance teachers dancers if you want to be a professional dancer that means you want to be a professional dance teacher because okay, it's going so to happen then, so then all that hammers all that bro there's a hey man. there was a hammering right there and see all, all that hammering that's going on in the background uh to what end what are we uh, looking to do so we're looking to in the future so um look at the website because there's going to be workshops out there where we're going to be doing some uh, dance teacher training i can come to you you can come to us. Um, just looking for some exciting podcasts out there for sure. They okay. will be on the website. Just different instructors and how they've overcome things, how they got to where they were, how they are successful today. What some to tips, avoid. Some clues, Total tips. Of that nature. Oh, yes. Right on. Yeah. And I you like know, it. people like AJ are really important too, just because uh, we always need someone that is going to be helpful. Um, Rangel and Veronica were super on the our canvassing DFW. They easily could be um, on Amazing May Dance Teachers Academy talking about what mindset to have to be successful. Oh, teacher. Rangel for real. Yeah. What are they, what are they nickname? Rancho? Is that is that his nickname? Racho. Racho. Yeah. Oh, okay. There you yeah. go. Yeah, that guy's got uh, he's he's um, mentally tough. I picked yeah. up. I picked up on she's it. She's mentally tough. Uh, well, you know, yeah, she, yeah, she's that, and she's uh, she's dancing backwards, which <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> so that gives you that uh, how that's going along. Yeah. Oh. So you know, there's just so much to say, and I realized once it was presented, like, hey, why don't we go in this direction? At first, I was taken aback, excited, and then nervous. Like that happens a lot. It could be considered almost like a stage fright. Uh, situation. I'm excited to do the show. Oh shoot! Now I'm in this big show. Oh my gosh! What am I gonna do? Being out there on the stage in this big show, well, and then taking lead, no less. Right, and then you're on the stage. You perform. Showtime. You do your thing. Yep. Applause. The Applause. audience comes. Applause. Yeah. Applause. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So it's gonna happen, and I'm excited to take our listeners along the way. I'm excited that you are doing this with me oh absolutely yes and um like i said i saw it right away i'm like yeah this makes sense <laughs> you're like what? what what's going on yeah. I, I need another and, cup of coffee <laughs> right and then my inner diva glow started there, oh, there we go <laughs> it's that, gonna be fun and that just happened yes. so where or rather um just the website uh, it's amazing com. is that correct amazing amay a M A Z I N G. We'll so amazing. Scroll it around the bottom here later if I quit banging on my. Yeah, yeah. Amazing MA and uh, Dance Teachers Academy coming okay. soon. So uh, definitely shoot us an email so you get on the list. So everything that's happening firsthand, you're going to know right away. Follow me on Facebook. I'm going to get that out. Scroll on the bottom of the screen. Yep. And, you know, I'm going to follow up, too, on Facebook and uh, on the podcast next. Outstanding. Um, yeah, I had posted something on Facebook. I was having some uh, super emotional day, some inner struggles, how I overcame that, how I can help you mm -hmm. overcome something you might be... Um, Struggling through emotionally, we do that as creative people. Uh, I got through it. You can too. We will be happy to share that with you. Anyway, Jose, always a pleasure, uh, sir. Well, are you we in going the velvet to, voice? Yes, thank you. Are we going to? Uh, well, we, we're we got to tell them about the um, yet to be announced to TBD the date on the. Uh, 
workshop that you're working on. Yeah, I'm working on a workshop, so uh, nothing official yet. So once I get everything tied up with that, definitely, like I said, look on the website, look on Facebook, but uh, Dance Teachers Academy. And uh, and what is this workshop about? I'm so glad that you asked that, but that's all, you know, do you hear those hammers? Oh, is that still, still under construction, mm, yes. Okay. Yes, we get probably a- focusing on, to be honest with you, um, new teachers first with Dancing with the Stars, which came out years ago, right? But okay. But it really uh, pivoted, talk about pivot podcast, pivoted my business as a female professional. All right. So yeah. looking under the looking under the tarp a little bit. Yes. Because so it's still a work in though. progress. Let me explain, because I just want to say this is a little teaser, right? Okay. Sure. So, this is what I'm saying, peeking under the tarp. Okay. Yes. Uh, when I was first teaching I had a client who literally said to me if you call my office do not say you're my dance instructor I don't want anyone to know I'm taking dance lessons that was the nature of it for a female dance instructor females always wanted to dance so the male instructors always had business female instructors we had to be much smarter in terms of maintaining business because for the male our, our male customers, it didn't seem like something necessary in their was this, business. It wasn't something macho for them to do? Totally not macho thing when I first started, yes. Scotch and cigar is not, uh, Yeah, know, it just wasn't you know. it. So then, Dancing with the Stars, fast not forward. and cha-cha. Fast forward, Dancing with the Stars, Emmett Smith wins the Mirrorball Trophy. Emmett Smith. Three time Super Bowl champion. Okay. Dallas Cowboys, yes. Uh, you probably know more about Emmett Smith than I do. Well, I know about him, so yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, whether you're a Cowboys fan or not, you cannot I am deny. A, that's, that's okay. Yeah. yeah. I had a great line. He had a great line. Don't tell, not to mention, yeah, I mean, the kid could run. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Well, but he we was digress. successful. Well, can you imagine now this professional football player wins the Mirror Ball Trophy? It became very cool. For guys to learn how to dance okay. and since then i have never seen it so booming now in terms of for example wedding dances which is my specialty i see more young people that want to come in and learn to dance together awesome before the wedding dance was like mm, maybe we'll do it maybe we, we won't <laughs> now there's youtube videos of all these things going on um, for the wedding dances so what i'm saying is there is such a big uh, need now for newer teachers to teach new people and to teach a new person how to dance is very different than teaching someone let's say for competition or something so okay so peeking under the tarp okay. focusing on new teachers uh, uh teachers for new students i should say awesome yeah and that's a that's a little trick you know you got to get them excited and uh, accomplished quite a bit in a short amount of time. So, see how excited I am? Uh, yeah. And you're... I thought I wasn't going to have anything to say. We're trying to keep it simple here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> all righty then. So, now that we have all our information out, thank you, the lovely MA, for being here and uh, telling us what's going on. I, you know, because I was wondering what all that hammering was going on in the back of there. It's keeping me up. Under night, construction. Yeah, under construction. That was my yeah, brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, that sounds good. All right, folks. Well, uh, I am Jose on a mic with my uh, lovely co-host, uh, the amazing dancer May. This has been another episode of Dance Teachers Academy. Thank you.